Yo, guys, I've been waiting for her for a long time. We've been waiting for her for a long time. We finally got Camellia. And we finally see her in action in the drip market. Woo, she's gonna be insane. I love her design. I love everything about her. I liked her part in the story. It was amazing, bro. I think she's fine as hell. And I fucks with her heavy, bro. Camellia is gonna be the wave. The Wolverine waves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, huh? Huh? All right, anyways. Camilla is such a... I like the design. She looks cool. The whole plant motif is pretty fucking cool. The whole black and white hair. Cool. Everything about her is pretty cool. Especially in the story. She's a, she's a character that, that is very highly anticipated. One of my most anticipated characters aside from Scar right now is Camellia. And they finally showed her all. She's coming out a bit earlier than I thought she would. I think thinking that it won't be a while until she finally come and become play a playable character or something, bro. Because you know she's with the evil guys. You know what I'm saying? She with she with the bad guys, bro. You know what I'm saying? Our enemies currently, you know, in the story, which is interesting. So let's see what she says. Boring. Oh, it's you. He <laughs> he. I'm looking forward to our game, Camellia. Bloom Bearer from the Black Shores, Camellia is a laid-back character, free from shackles, with her personal aroma of danger. Intrigued by the belief in fate, she wanders the lands of her own accord, following such a chain of scenarios in this vague guidance. So Camellia here, I wonder what element she's gonna be. I could see her being out there, based off her color scheme, I can also see here being fusion based off the colors green because of the whole black and red, you know, though, on some parts of her design. Or she might be Havoc because I think she might be a, a, a dark type of character, you know, that dabbles in the dark arts, you know, of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, because there's surely no way in hell that she's going to be special. And we did, then again, we did just get young, uh, uh, last patch. We did just get, uh, uh, Chang Lee. And she might, and she's also fusion. So it would be too quick to give us, like, another fusion five star. You know what I'm saying? More, another fire character. So she's, I think she's more likely to be happy. You know what I'm saying? So I think that would be pretty cool if she ends up being happy. I'll be I'll be even more excited for her. I would be just as excited if she was if she's also fire, which is fusion. But you know, havoc it is, bro. She's gonna be the new dreamless character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think she's look fire, and I think she's gonna be a character that's gonna sell well on the banner. She's gonna do amazing. A lot of people's been looking forward to her. Obviously, not everybody is gonna like her. But, you know, I'm one of those people that like her, bro. I fuck with her heavy. And, you know, I mess with this, man. I mess with this. And I wonder how what she's going to do. Okay, guys, by the way, this future Marquis here. This is the day after I recorded the Camellia video. And I saw this shit by the time that I was going to fucking, you know, upload the video and shit like that. I saw this shit and I was like, damn, what the fuck is this? We got a light bulb chick. She actually looks pretty cute, though. All right. So we got a character, Lumi. She's another four-star. I think it's fine that she's a four-star because we've been in need of more four-stars in Wolverine Ways, bro. We, we've been struggling for them shits, man. Yeah, we finally got... We finally some getting some new four-stars that they cooking in. But surprisingly, we haven't gotten any five-star. But let's look at Lumi. Based off her design, I like the whole aesthetic of Lumi. The whole light bulb thing. It's, it's nothing quite like it that I've seen before. It's quite interesting. I don't know if she's supposed to be like a mouse or something, but she's supposed to be a, like a big ass light bulb apparently. She's probably a robot that's built like this. That looks like this. And she's like a whole thing with the light bulbs, you know? But she looks pretty cool. I don't know. She's cute. Adorable. She probably supposed to be like this mouse chick. 
She supposed to be, probably be like this mouse chick that also have light bulbs as ears and, and the fucking tail. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. That's what it looks like to me, bro. I, I, I enjoy the fit, such as the hoodie, bro. I like the hoodie, bro. I've always been a big fan of hoodies, bro. They could have definitely put more colors on, on the body right here, down the waist, instead of just white and black. They probably could have went more crazy with it because, you know, as we know, most majority of the characters in Wolverine tend to have, just have white and black, but white and black just generally just blend well together. But I do like the top half of, of her fit, bro. It looks fucking good, man. Do like the headband and all of that. Let's see what she says in her pro. Hee hee, busy days, but it feels great to be needed. I should keep it up. Lumi. So she's one of those characters that's like, she's happy to always help people, it seems. You know, she probably, she probably electrician, but she probably helped give people keep the lights on at night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, anyways. Interesting, but she looks real good though. Anyways, from defense forest to vast wilderness, places where navigator of Lilo Logistics Lumi as travel bear witness to her charming personality, like a shaft of sunlight. Born disciplined, she is now enjoying her daily task as a diligent courier. Honoring her duty of punctual delivery. So she is she's like a delivery girl? Interesting. That's interesting. She's looking like spectral. A hundred fucking percent. One billion percent she's spectral. Ain't no way in hell she's not spectral. I wonder if she's gonna be a new healer or something. Or is she just gonna provide like a lot of buff. Cause based off her little description. She's definitely a support, 100%, that provides buffs to characters. She could probably provide special buffs and whatever. But yeah, I think this character looks cool, bro. They went to a, this is a different direction for, of a design than I'm used to. I was not expecting this shit because when I first saw this girl, I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? What is that? And, but, this is a different tape on a character. A light bulb, a light bulb motif for a character. Interesting. Very fucking interesting. Yeah, I'm quite an intrigued on what she does. She's a four star, we see. But I also wanna like follow up on something here. What's up with the five stars? Because for 1.3, they only show short people, right? Aren't there supposed to be like another five star for like the second half of 1.3? I don't know, man. Cause I've been curious on that for a good while. Are we gonna have a second five star 1.3? Or is it just gonna be Shorekeeper? Which is kinda, kinda odd, man. It's kinda odd considering how they've been doing banners in general. Cause and considering how most Vox Gacha games have been doing banners in general. It's kinda odd with the where they going which is interesting i wonder what they're gonna do with that same with uh i don't know if camellia is part of 1.3 or not because they actually never said that i probably there's probably they sadly said that somewhere else on another platform that they do or post their shit at whether it's their website or or you know or somewhere else on twitter i don't know because I only see their shit on t their news on Twitter mostly, you know, and sometimes go to the website if they have dev notes or whatnot. If Camellia part of 1.3 or 1.4, I'm not necessarily sure. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I assume that she's part of 1.4. You know what I'm saying? And considering that we just got this shit that they released, that's another four star and i assume that she's for 1.4 because typically games don't usually release gotcha games don't typically release two four stars in the patch you know what i'm saying it's very rare for them to do it it's usually always two five stars and one four star but you know not with the occasional four star but not every patch is always a new four star but that's why i say occasion which is interesting to me 
We're gonna have to see, guys, what they see what they cooking. See what characters come out when, when, what patch. We're gonna have to see. It's up to the devs to figure that out. So yeah, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed the videos. Anyway, back to the other video. And I'm intrigued at uh, what they're gonna do with Camellia here. Like I can't wait to see those damn animations, especially with the whole flower, dark flowers and shit like that. You know, she's literally the opposite of what Verena is, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, bro. I hope y'all like the videos, bro. I hope y'all enjoy. Anyways, you guys already know, man. If you like the video, like the video, bro. If you also like the video, subscribe, bro. We play many different types of games on this channel, bro. Whether it's Gotcha, Mario, Nintendo, bro, Variety. We played Sonic. Nah, we, we, when we get to Sonic, we play Persona, we, when we get to Persona, bro, you know what I'm saying? We play different types of anime games as well. So, I hope y'all boys and ladies enjoy the video, bro. So, it's just in the description, and peace. See y'all later. Yeah!